Let's take a look at unit prices with customary unit conversions up to 100. Which is the better buy? A 15 cup jug of water for $24 or a nine pint jug of water for $34.20? Okay, well the first thing I wanna do is have them in the same measurement because I don't wanna compare a price for, um, for cups to a price for pints. So my conversion here that I need to know is that one pint is equal to two cups. Okay, so if one pint is equal to two cups, that means I can take my pint number and multiply it by two to figure out how many cups that would be. So if I know that I have nine pints, well nine times two, that's gonna be 18 cups. Okay, so now at least I'm comparing them both in terms of cups. So what's a better deal? 15 cup jug of water for $24 or an 18 cup jug of water for $34.20? Well, to figure this out, I wanna know the unit price. Okay, and the unit price means for each one. In this case, I wanna know for each one cup. Okay, so to do that, I would need to take the price in this case, it was $24, and divide it by the number of cups, 15. That's gonna give me the price per cup. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. In this case, my price was $34.20. And I wanna divide it by, remember we said nine pints was the same as 18 cups, so I'm gonna divide that by 18, and then once I have the price per cup, right, that's my unit price, meaning for each one cup, then I'll be able to say which one is the better deal. Okay, so let's divide. 24 divided by 15 is 1.6. Okay, well remember we're talking about money, so if we get 1.6, that would be $1 and 60 cents. So one dollar and sixty cents per cup, meaning for each one cup of water. Okay, let's see what we get on the other side. So 3420 divided by 18, that gives me 1.9. And of course we're talking about money, so that would be one dollar and ninety cents per cup. Okay, and now it's really clear for me, $1.60 per cup is going to be cheaper than $1.90 per cup, so that would be the better deal, 15 cups for $24. Which is the better buy? A three yard piece of aluminum wire for $86.40 or a 10 foot piece of aluminum wire for $91. Okay, well to answer this question, notice first that one of these is in yards and one of them is in feet. So I wanna, I wanna know how many feet are in a yard. Okay, and each one yard is equal to three feet, okay? And it doesn't matter, I could make these both yards or I could make these both feet. Let's say, I wanna say, well, if each one yard is three feet, well then how many feet are in my three yard piece? Well, I would multiply my number of yards by three, right? Three times three means that that three yard piece would be a nine foot piece. Okay, so now we wanna know what's a better deal. Nine feet of aluminum wire for 86.40, or 10 feet of aluminum wire for just a little more, $91. Well, just like we did last time, we're gonna divide to get the unit price or the price per foot, right? Meaning for each one. So I'm gonna divide the price, per means division, right? So the price divided by the number of feet. So in this case, my price was $86.00. and 40 cents, 
And make sure not to use the three. That was in yards. We want to use our feet number, nine. I'm going to divide that by nine to figure out my price per foot. Okay, so 86.40 divided by nine. Okay, that's 9.6. And of course, since we're talking about money, 9.6 would be $9.60. per foot of aluminum wire. Okay, for this one, it was $91 for 10 feet. And dividing by 10, remember we can move our decimal point. So that's gonna be 9.1 or $9.10 per foot, okay? Well, now we can see $9.10 per foot is cheaper, right? It's less money than $9.60. So the, the lesser amount is the better deal. Okay, this time we wanna see which is the better buy, a four foot piece of aluminum wire for $32 or a three yard piece of aluminum wire for $69.30. Well, remember we said each one yard is equal to three feet. Okay, so let's see how many feet these three yards would be. Well, I would have to multiply by three. Each one yard is three feet. So if I have three yards times three, that's gonna be nine feet. Okay, so I'm comparing a four foot piece of aluminum wire for $32 to a nine foot piece for $69.30. Just like before, I wanna divide and get my unit price, which would be my dollars per foot. Okay, and that's also telling me how to set up my division problem, right? Dollars per means divided by feet. So my dollars, in this case it was $32, divided by my number of feet, divided by four. Okay, well 32 divides evenly by four, right? That just gives me eight. So that means it was $8 per foot. Okay, on this side, my dollars were $69.30. And I'm gonna have to divide that by nine feet. Okay, well, $69.30 divided by nine comes out to be 7.7. .7. Okay, and since we're talking about money, that would be $7.70 .70 per foot. Okay, well, $7.70 .70 per foot is cheaper than $8 per foot. So that would be the better deal.